Yo, yo, this is Justin Timberlake, album ranking. It's your boy, Triboro, That Ain't Rap Podcast. Hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment, all that good shit. I said I was doing this a long time ago, and I decided to do it now on his birthday. Happy birthday, Justin Timberlake. We're going to go through his albums from worst to first. I don't really need to do an introduction, you know, y'all know this man, NSYNC, frontman, boy band group, I wasn't into them, you know, back in the 90s and the TRL era, I wasn't into them, I wasn't into Backstreet Boys or 98 Degrees, but, but once Justin went solo, I became a fan, and, you know, I think he's one of the best solo artists of this, of this era, in my opinion. Starting with 2018, we got Man of the, Man of the Woods, with the, with the album done by Timbaland and Pharrell. Didn't really care for it except for a couple tracks. You know, I think Timbaland and Pharrell gave, you know, Justin some of their weakest production, in my opinion. But, you know, he has some joints like, you know, uh, Breeze Over the Pond, you know, Waves, Supplies, Young Man. You know, Filthy, those were dope tracks, but overall, did not like this album from 2018. You know, that's why it's on my, my least favorite. You know, so that's coming to number four. You know, number three. Yeah, number three is Double Album, part two of the Double Album, the 2020 experience. And... Again, it was produced by Timberland. We had features on there from Drake, Jay Z. You know, definitely uh, did they thing on here with joints like "Take Back the Night," which was, I believe, it was a song from Michael Jackson, and he turned it down, and Justin ended up with it. A banger, we had TKO, Cabaret featuring Drake, um, Murder featuring Jay Z, um, Only When I Walk Away. Definitely some bangers on this album. I enjoyed it. That's my number three. Um, this is a 2020 experience part two of the double album. Number three for me is the debut solo album from Justin, 2002, Justified. Classic album. Love the production from Pharrell and Timberland once again. You know, and she showed more of him and stepped away from the group and sync and showed more of his his talent, his dancing and his singing. You know, with uh joints like uh the, the debut single, um like uh is it like I Love You featuring the clips, that was great. We had Rock Your Body. One of my favorite joints on there last night. Um, take it from here. Um, definitely uh, Cry Me a River, one of his best songs ever. Definitely a, a great album. Five Night Classic, in my opinion. And that's my number three, Justified. Number two for me is the first part of the double album, The 2020 Experience, released in 2013. Fire production from Timberland. Love the the the, the club bangers like you know, uh, Suit and Tie featuring Jay Z, Strawberry Bubblegum, um, Tunnel Vision. You got a uh, uh, Let the Groove Get In. You know, uh, Mirrors. That was a, a dope uh, mid tempo joint. Push a Love Girl. Definitely a classic joint. I enjoyed that. Definitely to me is the better half of the of the two. Um, um, I keep saying double album, but it was released separately, but definitely this is the better half of the, of the two, in my opinion. Love that, um, this album. It easily could have been number one, but for me, it's definitely number two. So, 2020 experience, part one. Number two for me. And the number one Justin Timberlake album, the best album, in my opinion, of his whole discography and career is... The 2006 Future Sex Love Sounds 
produced mainly by Timberland. You got a joint produced by Black Eyed, um, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas. I think he did some love, you know, with features from T.I. on My Love. Love that joint. We got Chop Me Up featuring D6 Mafia, another banger. We got What Goes Around Comes Around, Fire Joint, Love Stoned, Fire Joint, um, The Ballad Until the End of Time. That's the regular version. The remix had Beyonce. That was just as fire. Um, Sexy Back, the hit smash. First single from this album. Definitely a great album. I enjoyed it. Still play it. This is truly the best Justin Timberlake album, in my opinion. Happy birthday, Justin Timberlake. Salute. And on that note, that is the Justin Timberlake album ranking. Subscribe, like, comment, share. That ain't rap podcast. It's your boy Trial Burrow. Peace.